This video deals with uh, merging content, combining content, um, maybe even collaborating with people. So I've got a, an empty presentation here, but I want to start it with a presentation that I know I already have open. Now I realize I could open that presentation, save it as new, and just get rid of the, some of the slides that I don't want. Uh, but there's another way of doing that, and I just want you to know that uh, from new slide here, you can go reuse slides. So I want to reuse slides from a presentation, and you can you, you would of course browse to see which one. So you go browse file here, <clears throat> and you can find a file that you want, and it'll open that file for you, and place all the slides here on the side. And by simply, so you would select in your presentation where you want those slides to go. So let's say that I want them after after slide two. So I click slide two. And then whatever slide I click here will automatically just come right into my presentation. So I'm just clicking once, and I got that one, and I got that one, and I got that one, and I got that one. So there you go. I've just very easily and quickly reused slides from another presentation. Fast, handy, kind of cool. Next situation, I've been working with a colleague. We've been working on a presentation together. Um, they've got their version, I've got mine. And now I, I want to combine them. I want to be able to, to, to get the best out of both and make one presentation. So I went ahead and I opened both of them. But now the first thing you need to understand is that you can you can view this in such a way that you can see both, uh, very much like Word. So I, I'm going to ask to arrange all now. So now I'm able to see both somewhat. All right. I'm going to get rid of my animation pane in this one. So I've got uh, a view of both of those presentations more or less. And here I can see that one of them is called annual meeting, with the other one's called company meeting. So there, there are already I can see some differences. So um, now that I've got them open, I, I want to open something called um, revision pane. All right. So now when when I go to compare here, it's telling me that I, I need to open the file that I want to compare it to. So I might have jumped the gun here. So I'm going to go to go ahead and close five one B and go to compare <clears throat> and this is where they want you to open the second file so that's fine and now it's launched this revision window so now from this revision window uh, I can now see what's going on in this presentation so right now um, in this first slide I have annual meeting here and it's also telling me that the theme is different from the other presentation. So wherever you have this little symbol, it's letting you know that there are changes to be made here. All right. So up here, it's telling me that the theme has changed. So if I click on this, I can click to accept the change, and that's been done. I can also reject the change, and then it goes back. Okay. So you can do either one. And you can even go, go back and change after you've changed it. So here on slide one, I can see I'm on slide one. I can see, okay, what's going on with this one? And now it's asking, do you want to select, do you want to choose all changes, right? And it's saying it's going to insert company and delete annual. So if I like that one, I would do that. And that's done. Okay. If I want to reject it, I can hit reject, right? So you have, those are your two choices. You can accept or you can reject. Now I like to accept right from here so I can see exactly what's going on. Details right here, which I like. So I'm going to accept that one. And now I can go to the next slide and it's telling me what's going on with this slide. So here it's showing me that it's inserted, it's deleted, and it's inserted something else. So you would go through this in a meticulous fashion and either accept or reject things, right? So if you accept it, you go and then you can go to the next one. And you would work your way all the way down the presentation. Inserted hour. There we go. Review of our progress. That's good. And then I can go next. And it's telling me that it's done. And it's asking me, it's asking if you want to start over. And of course, why would you do that? Uh, unless you think you, you want to second guess yourself. But I'm going to say that I don't want to continue. And then I'm going to end the review. And then that will end your review. And then any unapplied changes will be disregarded. So there you go. So you've just collaborated, you got some feedback from somebody, and you've made those changes to this presentation by looking at theirs. 
if you want to do something a little bit less drastic, um, you can look at somebody's presentation, and as you're going through it, you can put some comments in here. So I'd come here to comments pane, and if I want to add a comment here, I would just go new comment, and it tells them exactly who it is, right? And uh, and I can say um, uh, maybe change theme. And now you see the little comment box right here. Now there's a couple things you need to know uh, from if you think somebody's left some comments, you need to be able to see them. They don't show automatically. So you need to come to show comments here and you can ask for the comments pane, which I showed you before. So it'll show you that we've got comments on this slide here. You can also, if, if I turn this off, I can ask just to see the markup which is that little comment, that little thing right there. So if I only want to see that, I can do that, and it'll show me which slides have one on there. They, of course, don't show. You're not going to see that when you're viewing your show or showing your show. You're only going to see this in this view here, all right? So understand that. And uh, so uh, I'm going to turn the comments pane back on. So if somebody's asked you to take a look at their presentation and you want to give them some notes without altering your presentation, this is what you do. This is what you use. You use comments. And this will not mess up their presentation at all. All right, so uh, um, change word key to main, right? So you can leave that. Now, when they're viewing this presentation, they're going to be able to reply to you, right? As to thank you or disagree or whatever. So you can have a little bit of a back and forth, providing you're sharing this file with somebody else. So this is this is how you use comments. You're able to uh, you're able to delete the comments, of course. If I want to come back to this page and I've looked at this and I don't agree with them, I can go ahead. I can delete from here. I can also delete from here, I believe. So. That comment's gone. I've looked at it. I don't agree with it, so I've just deleted it. And the same thing here. Um, I can delete this one as well. All right. Uh, I believe you got to click on it from here in order to delete this one. So I can delete that comment. So a couple of different ways of deleting. Um, uh, you can ask for a new one here. You can ask for a new one here. So that's how you use your your comment feature. You can insert. You can review. You can reply. You can delete.